What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you through another full body strength workout. If you're new to full body strength, the name of the game is that we're building strength. Okay, I say it every workout, but there is more than one way to build strength. Whether you're lifting heavier weights over time, or you're doing more reps than last time, or more sets, or you're fitting more reps in the same sets as compared to last time, there's more than one way to progress. I'm gonna show you how with today's workout. So the way it's gonna work is we're gonna do six exercises broken down into three supersets. Each superset will alter between an upper body and a lower body exercise so when your upper body is working and your lower body is resting and vice versa repeat each superset times three for a total of 30 minutes i will explain the form as we go if you've been doing this month's challenge with me you will know that i've been loving it doing little finisher challenges on the end so at the end of today's workout make sure to comment your score i want to see if you're progressing from last week Otherwise, all you will need for today's workout is yourself, your body, a bit of room to move around, a heavier weight, a lighter weight, and that is it. So if you're ready to get started, make sure to shoot me a thumbs up and let's get into it. Getting into our first superset, we're going to be supersetting a hang grip squat to lunge with a split kneeling press, all right? So the hang grip squat to lunge is going to look like this if we're starting by stepping back with our right leg into a lunge. I'm going to put my left arm back, feet shoulder width apart. As I squat down, I'm going to hang grip with the weight. As we come up in this squat, we're going to clean the weight up to our shoulder, and then we're going to step back with the right leg into a lunge, bring it back up, reverse the motion. All right, so when we speed it up, it's going to look like this, going from the squat to the lunge. The second exercise, so for each side, we're going to be going right into the upper body exercise. I'm going to get down into a split kneeling position. I'm going to grab my lighter weight, and in the right arm again, I'm just gonna press this up. What's really important here is that we're staying nice and tight through the core as we press overhead, making sure things aren't getting wobbly. That's what that's gonna look like. So we're gonna superset those two things, starting with the weight in our right hand, we're gonna have a little break, we're gonna switch on over to have the weights in our left hand, because we're gonna begin going with this first superset in just under 10 seconds. So make sure you got your weights, Water, you got anything you're gonna need because so we're gonna go in right at you now. Let's do this. sides so putting that weight back and this time we're going to be doing that same hang squat to lunge we're going to be switching the weight on over to our left hand and stepping back with the left leg this time because we are off Thank you. 
can, grab your lighter weight. Let's get into that split stance kneel, right into the overhead press. Superset. I know this one's a little bit tougher than usual because we have a single leg exercise and then we have a single arm exercise. So it just makes the first circuit feel so much more difficult than usual. I know. Okay, but we're going to make it through. Once you get through the first side of this superset, we will be halfway through the three supersets. Do the math. Don't worry. We're going to make it through. Right back into that hand grip squat to reverse lunge. So grab that weight, get down into that split kneeling position. Let's go. Superset. So get yourself ready, make any adjustments you need to. Just bring it and go in. in three, two, and one. Let's go. Last round of this superset.
grab your lighter weight. Get down into that split kneel for me. Let's go. as you go. That's going to be the glute bridge two up, one down. The next exercise will be a dumbbell pullover to dead bug. This is going to target your lats as well as your deep core muscles. What's kind of cool is that your lats work synergistically with your core to help contract and compress your rib cage. Okay, so the first part of the range of motion, I'm use my lighter weight. We're going to have our weight on the ground. We're going to have a nice natural arch in our back. Feet right half like this. We're going to pull over by driving our elbows forward. From here, I want your glute, I want your core to be locked down. Tap, tap, inhale on the lower. So it's nice big exhale, brace the core, pull the belly button into the spine. Tap, tap, nice big inhale on the way back down. So that is going to be our second super set because we are off. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my heavy weight. Let's get going with that glute bridge, two up, one down. in our back, legs hovered up, it's pull over to dead bug. 
Big inhale, as we exhale, pulling that belly button into the spine. Rest in the core, tap, tap. Inhale as we lower and relieve the tension from our lats. Superset is on the ground. Let's just get that blood flowing, okay? You can march with me, you can grab some water, you can get a tissue, you can do whatever you gotta do, okay? But I like to keep it moving to get that blood flowing. We're back down on the ground, so we're gonna go in five seconds. As a reminder, we're starting with that glute bridge two up, one down, grabbing your heavy weight, because we're off. to get into position for that pull over to dead bug. There's our light weight. So keeping that nice natural arch in your back. Hover those legs up. Our knees should be just above hips or in line with the hips. We're gonna take a big inhale down here. And as we exhale, we're gonna compress that tummy, pull the belly button to the spine. Compressing the core and contracting the lats.
right. And like that, we've got a minute 30. Again, you made it through our second superset. Our last superset that we're going to move into is going to be a little bit faster paced. It's going to be really fun. All right, so if you've been working out with me for a bit, you may be familiar with the dead stop swing. What that's going to look like is we're going to grab our heavier weight. We're going to hold it by the end, just like this. What we're going to do is sitting back at the hips, we're going to hold the weight just slightly in front of us with our arms just about straight. And what we're going to do is let that weight swing back, using the momentum of it, thrust the hips forward, and repeat. All right, so we're just extending our arms out front, letting the jump bell rest on its end. We're giving a little lift through the arms so it can act like a pendulum. Swing it back when it gets to here. Thrust up with the hips, down and back. Okay, the second exercise we're gonna superset with grabbing your lighter weights is going to be an iso hold alternating row. So again, doing what we just did, sitting back at the hips, making sure those glutes are engaged instead of our low back supporting this movement. From here, what we're gonna do is row both weights up. As we lower one, we're going to hold the other in an iso hold, row, row just like that all right make sure that as you sit back you feel those glutes engaged and as we row keep that belly button tight so we're not shifting the emphasis to the low back because we are off let's go Oh, 
my eighth rep. I was so convinced, but you can get to the bottom of that push up and it's like, just gets really tough all of a sudden. That's where I messed up. That's where I slowed down. But still, I believe I got seven and a bit reps. Not quite at eight, maybe next week. It is an improvement, because I'm pretty sure last week I only got five and a half. So definitely let me know what your score is down below, whether you did last week's workout or not. Let me know how many little makeup burpees you got. I'm out of breath. I need some water, but I always love working out with you. I love sweating with you, hanging out with you, doing these challenges with you, progressing with you. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you shoot me a thumbs up. I can't wait to see you in the next one.